Okay, so um, what are we saying here, Bob? So this is what we did the live chat on your site. And what's the URL of that site? Uh, StarTrekMovie.com. No. Trek, huh? TrekMovie.com. TrekMovie. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> uh, this is what we did the chat. Uh, the Enterprise starts here and goes over here like this. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. And that's Brian Burke, who's the producer. That's Brian Burke, and that's J.J. Abrams. And uh, they were responding to my And the is taking my Whose so name is on the call sheet right here? Does that say Shatner? No. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, let's take a look at the next picture. This one's a little bit more interesting. Okay, this is the same day, right? It's the same day, moments before. Uh, this is the first picture taken on the bridge of the Enterprise itself. So what exactly, yeah, so what is the laptop sitting on? That's sitting on one of the many stations on the, on the bridge. Of the USS Enterprise. Yes. Yeah. So there you go. There's a picture of the bridge of the USS Enterprise. You can see all the production value that went into it. Hey, well, you know, it's like, yeah, these guys are, they got 13 months to go, so. Okay, uh, let's look at the next picture. <laughs> I still couldn't believe it every time I'd walk by that chair and go, there's just, there's no way. There's no way he's going to sit here. But there he sat, there he sat. Now, you once told the story, so I guess you can tell it again. When you guys were writing this movie, you took a really big chance related to Leonard. Why don't you tell, tell people about that? Story-wise, we only kind of knew one way to, and you'll find out hopefully, how to solve the continuity issue. Have an appropriate transfer of the soul of Star Trek. The only, thought, the only way we could imagine doing it is to make sure that Leonard Nimoy was a big part of what we did. He had already retired as Spock. He he spoke publicly about the fact that he never really came back. He thought he was done. So we went to the studio very much with a fish that heavily relied on his involvement. And we had a preliminary meeting with him before we went off to write, but we in general pitched him what we thought his involvement would be and what we thought the story would be. And he essentially said, you know, it's, you know, we, we really did the hard sell. We would let him do what we were saying. You, you're a key to this. You cannot, please consider this. And he told us, I, you know, I, I thought I was done, but you guys clearly are all very passionate, et cetera, et cetera. So write the script. And let's see what happens. Uh, God bless him. Uh, he read the script and he said yes. So that was a big risk. We didn't know what was going to happen. Would you have to rewrite the script, essentially? Big time. So, so, so you wouldn't describe Leonard's role in this film as a cameo in any sense? No, I would not. Okay. Um, what, what, what's this? Uh, this was the last day of shooting and uh, we got him ice cream because he loves ice cream. <laughs> oh, so that's special ice cream. And one more. Okay. Now, if I might, that says Romulans only. What is, what's up with that? Um, the Romulans are a, a friend of the family. It's his family. Their last name actually is Romulans. Oh, it's, it has nothing to do with the movie. Uh, well, what, are, what exactly are Romulans, the Romulans only allowed to eat? It's something from their planet. I think that's like a, it's like a mango, but it's alive. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and I said to you when I said this to you, that, that this shouldn't no way indicate whether or not Romulans play a large part of the movie or whether or not they're even in the final cut of the movie. Okay. So when, so when Zachary Quinto uh, a few months ago said he's learning a lot about Vulcans and Romulans to get ready for this movie, that was just... He thought he was a Romulan cat until halfway through the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. He wasn't sure what he was. Okay, and then there's one more. Adam, do you want one? Okay. Now, there's two schools of thought on this picture. One is, oh my god, that is so awesome. Which I kind of am in, because it is pretty awesome. Here's the other school of thought. 
Look at the size of those themselves. Those are totally wrong. Okay, this is written way too big. This has to be over there. That is the wrong thing. There's too many decks right here. This color is wrong. That paneling is totally different than the original. It's much more like that in the motion picture. They're slightly like that graphic con. Those wings over there. Yeah, we're done with this one. Just a little yeah. bit. Keep going. 